guys. Um, as you can see today, I'm not on the banks of the river. Um, with this lockdown, I've taken some time to sort through some of my gear, um, and I've had many questions about, you know, what do I use, what gear do I use, etc. So I thought I would take some time today uh, and go through how I have gone from taking this to fishing to just taking this and all will become clear um, later in the video as I delve deeper into the actual equipment I use and I take for my fishing. So um, let's uh, delve a bit deeper into um, into my reasonings behind um, ditching that um, and taking a much more mobile approach. Um, I sort of started two or three years ago when I moved back to the country. I started uh, to take up freshwater fishing again um, after a small break and as per usual started gathering more and more equipment and felt I needed to take everything with me every time I went fishing just to be able to catch. Um, you know, I think we all have that um, feeling when we go fishing that, oh, I wish I'd brought this. You know, if I had this, I would have caught. If I had this, I would have fished better. Um, and I feel that what happens is you just build up more and more and more, and the car gets filled up more and more. Um, you know, I now, you know, I was taking a whole barrow load full of stuff, and I only do day sessions, I don't do night fishing. So I still had this, and also I would also take a uh, tracker Tempest with me as well, um, if it was wet weather. And what I found was that I'd be sat, I'd get to the venue, um, I'd find a swim that I liked, uh, albeit if it was on a lake or if it was on a river, I would barrow down all of my equipment, I would get set up, and you would sit there, you would get the baits out, and after half an hour, you haven't caught, um, and you think to yourself, are the fish here? Um, so you give it another half an hour, you know, rebait, do a bit more baiting, try some more areas in the swim, and after an hour, you think to yourself, you know, maybe, I should be moving um, to try and locate the fish. But the problem you have is that if you are taking barrow loads of equipment and taking it to a swim, you then look around you and see all of this stuff and think, you know what, it's just too much hassle. It's really too much hassle. Um, and I think we are creatures of habit. And ultimately, I think also um, quite lazy when it comes to it. Um, so we would, you know, then I would just end up sitting there um, for, for most of the day, or I may move at a massive push to a, another swim. But I just felt after, you know, doing this for so long and every morning, you know, every morning I was going fishing, having to load the car up and I'm thinking to myself, why am I taking all this stuff with me? I don't need it. Half the stuff you take with you, you don't use you put it back in the car, it's never been out, it's never been used. And I thought to myself, look, I need to cover water. Um, and especially if you are a fisherman that only fishes short sessions, um, you need to find the fish. You don't have that luxury like the carp boys do when they can sit in a swim for days on end and bait up and wait for the fish to come to you. I only fish for five or six hours at a time. So I don't have the luxury of being able to wait for fish to come to me to maximize my fishing. So I thought to myself, well, how can I do that? And the only way you can do that is you need to locate fish. And the only way you can locate fish is to be mobile. And there is absolutely no way you're gonna be mobile when you have all of that equipment. It's just, it's just an impossibility, um, especially in the winter when uh, you know the banks have been flooded. It's really muddy. 
um, a lot of waters are quite inaccessible in some of the swims so I sort of sat down and thought to myself right what do I need to take with me when I go fishing um, you know what's the bare minimum I need to catch fish and take care of those fish the best I can um, and be mobile so this this is what I came to so what I'm going to show you now is how I went from all of that barrel load of equipment down to basically this just a rucksack and my rods and a net um, so I will now take you through what this equipment is that I use I'm not going to go into detail about what I've got in the bag for now I'll do another video at a later date showing you the sort of terminal tackle that I use and how I fill the bags but this video just for the purpose of just showing you that you can be exceedingly mobile um, but still have all the equipment you need for a successful day's fishing so without further ado um, I will start taking you through my equipment so the first thing I needed to do was find a bag um, that was big enough to hold the equipment I needed for my sessions um, there's a lot of different bags out there uh, dollar, uh, you know and obviously it needs to be really a rucksack so that it frees up your hands to be carrying something else um, so after doing quite a lot of research and that um, I found the Corum range the new Corum transition range of luggage and what sort of swung me to this and I'll show you that in a second is the way it is so modular and you can attach everything to it um, but this is the actual bag that I use I use the Corum transition compact ruck bag so yeah as you can see um, it's it's very compact um, it's got two large pockets on this side here um, and also one full length pocket on this side um, and the good thing about this pocket is I don't know if you'll be able to see that in this video is that this is uh, has the insulating liner uh, a bit like a cool bag so it's perfect for putting your bait into whether you take a frozen bait with you um, or you know also my dead baits uh, and stuff like that now this side of, of the bag is um, completely waterproof material and this is obviously the side of the bag that you would then lay down on the floor when you're in your swim um, and then what that does this shows you the back of the bag um, this is highly padded this is a bit that will be going against you as you can see this has one large pocket um, in here you have a couple of sections zip sections where you can put some stuff um, and also it's all waterproof lined inside as well so masses of room in there it also has that nice carry all um, feature of a handle at each end so it allows you to lift it up carry it and put it where you want into the car out of the car now what you might see are these now these are what make this bag so much better than every other bag on the market and this is the chair retainer um, hooks and I'll show you uh, that next of what I use uh, the chair I use because that is also another thing that has revolutionized my uh, roving fishing and that is this as you can see this is the Corum Aeronium chair and this weighs virtually nothing um, I can lift this up with one finger it is that light um, and after having many different fishing chairs as we all know they weigh a lot um, and if you're having to carry one of those around in your hand all day up and down the river then um, it really does tire you out now obviously a lot of people 
you know, may not even use a chair when they're doing roving. Now I'm, I'm getting on in my years and I do like a little bit of comfort. Um, if I go and sit down on the bank, uh, there is a possibility I can't get up again. <laughs> so um, I got this chair. Now what is even better about this chair is this. This chair actually attaches to the bag. Um, and I'll show you here, all you need to do is those clips there. Clip on the bars, the two legs either side, and then suddenly you have this. Um, and what this allows you to do is basically pull your straps over here. So basically what that allows you to do is have your chair as part of your rucksack on your back. And as you can see, it then becomes one piece. It frees up your hands, so you now have two hands to carry something. Um, and it is very, very light. I can't explain to you. You need to go to a shop and pick one of these chairs up uh, just to see what it's like. And basically, you can walk for miles with this on your back and you can hardly feel it. Um, it, is, it, is, it has absolutely revolutionized my fishing. You know, I'm, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. So, you know, everything I can do for lightness and comfort to help me while I rove the banks, you know, can make all the difference to my day's fishing and makes it so much more enjoyable. But it doesn't just stop there though, because this is even more modular. Um, and I'll show you two other things I use as well that attach to this, um, which also frees up my hands and also is aimed specifically at fish care. So this is the first piece of uh, kit that I use to attach to the ruck bag. And this is uh, an unhooking mat. Um, this is the Corum Transition Folder Mat. As you can see, it's ultra compact um, and it is designed specifically to be able to attach to the, the ruck bag. And I'll just quickly show you how this attaches. As you can see uh, on the ruck bag, you have two at the top and two at the bottom of the Caribbean, Caribbean Eclipse. So basically all you need to do then this clips onto there, this clips onto there, and there you go. It's part of your rucksack. Again, not having to hold it in your hand. Now what's really good about this mat as well is a lot of roving mats are very simple. You know, they're just little roll mats, they're just flat and, and not a lot of protection. But what I find is that when you're fishing on the banks of rivers, they're not all perfectly flat. Sometimes you're having a fish and it's on a bit of a slope and that. And if you're just using just a normal roll mat, you put the fish on it, it slides straight off. Or when it starts thrashing around, it falls out off onto whatever surface is underneath your mat. Albeit, you know, if you're on a canal or that, it could be onto concrete um, and urban fishing, etc. So what is great about this mat is how big it actually is and what it does so what you'll find see is it actually has padded walled sides to it um, and that is a very considerable sized mat um, and the walls on it mean that if you're on uneven surfaces or that or even if it's just a fish that is um, thrashing around it's contained within the mat um, and that's just so much better um, for the safety of the fish uh, controlling the fish um, for when you're unhooking and especially for things like pike where um, you've got treble hooks and everything and you just want to keep it on the mat while you keep hold of it um, and not having it slipping around and getting caught up in everything. So uh, yeah, that is the Corum um, folder mat and I'll just quickly take it apart. 
to show you how easy it is to put back together. Sides down, over like that, over like this, and basically it all just clips together. And that, again, I'll just quickly uh, attach that back on here. Again, just one little clip, and again another clip, and away you go. It's all part, and it's on your back. It still weighs virtually nothing. It's out of the way. Allows you to, you know, walk around and also have your hands free. Now there's another item that I have actually only recently purchased. Um, and again, this is from Cora. Um, you know, obviously it's all part of their transition range, so it's all modular and fits together. And this is their, um, their retainer. Now this is a, an absolutely great piece of kit, uh, especially when you're river fishing because Unlike with lakes and that, if you've got a fish and you want to rest it, if you're on a lake, you can usually use your landing net because it's quite flat banks and um, you know the water level is pretty much up to the bank. But when you're on rivers, there's quite a lot of time when there's quite a big gap between the, the bank and the water. And there's no way that you can use your landing net to rest the fish. Especially when I'm fishing for barbel, um, who need a lot of rest in, uh, and also for pike as well, are quite delicate. So um, I was recommended this by a friend of mine, and um, so I, I've purchased this, and it is an absolutely great piece of kit. As you can see, this is more than big enough for holding your fish um, in the water. And what's even better with this is it has, let me just unzip this so you can see. Oh, you can see that it has these foam struts on the top, which means when your fish is in the water, um, the top is held apart like this. So it's not all collapsing in on the fish. It has a really soft side netting, um, and all the rest of this is rubberized as well. So it gives the fish a great lot of protection. Um, and it's also got the straps here so you can, for weighing the fish as well. And this here is the cord that you can then attach to your bank stick. Um, I just think it's just a great piece of kit to have in your armory. Um, and it's just as, e as, as easy as just rolling it up. And put it back into the stuff bag. Close the end off. And as you can see, this also has the carabiners. So what I do for this one, I attach these. to the bottom and there you have your complete setup there with your bag, your chair, unhooking mat and retainer. Also on this bag what you'll find is there are retaining straps on the top, you can see those here and the same on the bottom and what I use these for is for my bank sticks so everything is held in just this one item it's just amazing and you can put that on your back and you can walk for miles along the banks um, you know and even in some swims I won't even bother unpacking most of it um, I can just plonk it down cast my rods in and, uh, and away you go so what I'll do now is move on to my uh, to the next piece of equipment that I've got um, and I'll show that to you. So uh, this brings me on to my uh, next bit of kit and that is 
might land in there. Um, so I, in the past, as per a lot of people would use, so you would use your six foot landing net handles um, with net. Um, and again, that just become very cumbersome. Um, and I wanted to make sure everything was compact. So um, I picked up the, uh, this, which is the new Corum Opportunist XTND. Um, and as you can see, this is tiny when it's folded down, but <laughs> as you can see, it extends to more than enough reach uh, for my river fishing. And again, just pops down, shoulder strap, don't have to hold it in my hand. Um, Obviously, I have a different number of net heads depending on what I'm doing fishing wise. Obviously, if I'm sort of chub fishing and perch fishing, I'd use a smaller net like this. Um, when I'm pike fishing, I'll use a bigger rubberized net. Um, and also, if my barbel fishing, I have a 30 inch uh, net head as well. But again, this is all ultra compact to add just to this, this, uh, this setup to allow me to roam the banks for as long as I can. Um, and just be ultra mobile and get to the fish um, and my last thing is is that because I fish uh, fairly small rivers the Kennet, uh, Blackwater um, and some of the other tributaries the Loddon and, and, and smaller rivers like that um, I've scaled down my rods as well um, and depending on what fishing I'm doing um, I have two sets of rods um, now, this, these rods here are the rods that I've recently purchased um, for my barbel chubber and perch fishing and these are the new Corum Opportunist X 8 foot quivers. Um, now they come with two tips, a 2 ounce and a 4 ounce, so it's more than capable of all of my uh, river fishing. And as you can see, again, being eight foot, they are exceedingly compact when folded down, just to enable my uh, roving again and just squeezing down my kit to as uh, small as possible. They got a really slim, nice blank, very nicely weighted. Um, I have these paired up with the Corum Shadow um, 2500 reels and um, they, they, they're superb rod um, and I highly recommend them for anyone out there who's looking for some small river rods um, for their roving but the, these are superb and I have no qualms on using this for, for all of my fishing um, they've got the backbone to, to get whatever fish you want on the bank now the only other change I have is that if I'm out dead baiting I will then use these um, which I've been using now since they were released over a year ago and these are the um, Sonic Extractors now I think most people have probably heard of these by now they were sort of based on the the Nash um, the Nash rods with the extending buck section so these are nine foot three pound test curves and I use these for all of my bigger river fishing for pike um, and also for my carp fishing if I'm river fishing carp or, or lakes as well and again they fold down so small and compact and I have a I have a double bag here so um, and this comes apart so you can if you just want to take one rod with you you can just a detached the sleeve and just use the one sleeve um, and also the good thing with this sleeve as well if you do want to take it with a sleeve is it has the loops on the side that you can put your uh, neck uh, your bank sticks in and also on the other side if you can see it it's got the straps here so you can put a landing net pole as well um, when I, if I am actually going fishing I don't tend to take the rod sleeves with me I just take the rods with bands on them purely for the fact that once you've taken the rods out um, and you want to move swims and that, you don't want to have to keep putting them back in here 
or if you're not putting them back in here you've got to still carry this around so I'll leave this in the car and just take the rods with me on the bank so here it is in its entirety like a snail with everything on its back but it's just so light um, I, I just can't explain to you that I could walk five miles with this and wouldn't even notice I'm carrying it with the two rods they're very light as well the nets obviously on your back um, there's nothing else you need you know I've got also got a free hand which comes in handy you know for when I'm vlogging if I want to do the selfie but also if you are going to go somewhere where you need to do some more heavy feeding um, it allows you to also carry a bucket of bait as well um, or something else but being able to just shove put everything on your back and get up it's going to stop you sitting in a swim and thinking I really can't be bothered to pack that whole barrow away you know as you can see here you know what would you rather have you know would you have rather have that massive barrel load of gear that you've got to lug out you've got to load the barrow you've got to get it out of the car you've got to take it to your swim you've got to unload it set it up repack it all take it all the way back to the car unload it pack it in no i'm here and the other good thing about this kit is i can actually just leave this in the back of my car if i wanted um if I'm out and about, if I'm traveling, if I'm going away on a holiday or that, it's just perfect. You could use this for your holiday. So guys, you know, I really do think you just sort of need to look at ditching kit and getting mobile. You know, this that's the whole theme of this, is just ditch the kit and get mobile. Rove around, walk the banks. This, this isn't just for river fishing either. Um, for you carp guys as well, you know, this will enable you to cover the lake find the fish get on the fish uh, if you feel if you're seeing a fish roll down the other end of the lake you haven't got to pack up everything to get on that fish you know it's literally there on your back walk down you're on the fish when you're river fishing you're on the bank there you go your rods are in half an hour in a swim bosh on your back up in the next swim half an hour you can cover miles of river and especially over winter where you need to find those fish it's just i just think it's the only way um that you're going to put more fish on the bank you know albeit you've all watched my videos i've been blanking for the last few weeks but that isn't from want of trying or covering water to try and find these fish um, i really hope that this video inspires you or helps you um, with regards to sort of finding down your kit for your fishing you know feel free in the comments to put um, you know ask me any questions i will also be doing another in-depth video soon um, about more of the terminal tackle or what i put in my bag and how i go about spending if i'm going for barbell chub uh, pike you know what i will take with me within this setup but i hope you have uh, a great day um, tight lines to everyone when you're on the bank stay safe as well um, if you do like the channel um, don't forget to uh, subscribe like and hit the notification bell um, I normally put a video out every week and um, I really look forward to your comments um, about how you have refined your fishing tackle to allow you to row so stay safe guys